Okay, putting on your battle gear. Let's start with putting on our battle gear. We are ready for battle now. Okay, so here we go. Let's go back to the start of Ephesians now. One, I put on the belt of truth. This means that you are not lying or cheating people. You are honest. Two, I put on my breastplate of righteousness, which means you are honorable and do the right thing when dealing with others. Three, I put on my helmet of salvation, which means that you're protecting your mind from the enemy, limiting popular music, television, computer gaming, etc. You don't want to do things that are really not of God. Number four, I shod my feet with the gospel of peace. This means you're not using guns or knives or your fists to fight the enemy. You are using peaceful means of combat, which are the words that you will be using. But using words can be extremely detrimental to the enemy in spiritual realm. You cannot be effective with demons if you think you're going to kill them with a knife or a gun or hit them or th things of that nature. Only words, words that come from your mouth, will work. All right, my words are sharper than any two-edged sword, which means I fight the enemy with my words. And my faith will quench any of the fiery darts that the enemy might want to send my way. My faith is what makes my armor work. So make sure you have faith in God. That is Ephesians 6. I also add, I cover myself in the blood of Jesus and I put a hedge of protection around me. No weapon formed against me will prosper. You can get very creative when using words. I loosen, which means I'm releasing something. I loosen the angels of protection who will keep me safe at all times. This is a statement. These are words that you are using to get the angels to come to help you battle and keep you safe. Let's say you're trying to heal a person who has a sprained arm. Effectively, we are going to bat into battle to heal this person. Most sickness problems in the physical body, like cancers, etc., are spiritual problems. I might effectively say, Dear Father, in the name of Jesus, I ask for muscles, ligaments, and tendons to relax right now. I ask for you to put back all muscles, tendons, and ligaments how they were before your daughter's accident. Uh, you are the great healer, Lord. I ask for healing right now in Jesus' name. Uh, by your stripes we are healed. I thank you, Jesus, for everything you do for us. Now, pain, I will address you now. I bind you, I break you, and I cancel all assignments. You have no right or privilege in this body. You must leave now and never come back. I send you to hell where you will stay and not come around again. All pain is to go now, in Jesus' name. I thank you, Lord, for all you do. Amen. I usually ask the person to uh, move their hands or see if something's different at all, depending on what their, their problem is. And uh, sometimes you can actually see if the pain has gone down. Sometimes it takes a while. Just go in faith that they are healed and uh, that, that they will be healed in, in total. Pat in love with Pat's two cents. I want to share this real quick. Now, we are referring to this beautiful woman as Sister Books. But what I want you to know is she is a member of our online church, God's Church of Love. And she has a ministry in healing and deliverance. The biggest part of my ministry is inner healing as far as healing goes. But her biggest part is physical healing. And what I want to share with you is she 
prayed for me. And you're looking at a woman who could have died from congestive heart failure, drowning in my own fluids in ICU over two years ago. This lady right here got on the phone with me, prayed in detail, then instructed me to take communion every single day for 30 days. Months after that, when I had my ultrasound by my doctor, the doctor said, well, you no longer have congestive heart failure. That was spoken by my heart specialist. Hmm. And now I am 85 pounds lighter, feeling way better. And I am still completing the healing process that God has begun. God will complete it. He will perfect all of that that concerns you. And that's what he's doing with me and my health. And when I come down another 25 pounds, I will probably stop right there. But I want to share this with you. When a person who has experienced watching people get healed by God over and over successfully, it's time for you to listen. She's teaching you the keys. A lot of these different keys don't get taught in church. So listen to her carefully. We've got more coming. So stay tuned.